If you're like me, there's times you really feel the presence of God, and then there's other times he must be miles and miles away. You don't feel anything. You feel abandoned, basically. Maybe you're like me. Maybe today you feel abandoned. Maybe you just don't feel his presence. I want to talk about that for a little bit in your morning cup of inspiration. I think we all feel that way sometimes. And so many times we think it's us. So many times we try to decipher why we can't hear from God. But you know what? Sometimes I believe it's just God choosing to withdraw himself for a season of time. Listen to what it says in 2 Chronicles. It's the 32nd chapter, 31st verse, and it tells us that God withdrew from Hezekiah, from King Hezekiah. And here's what it says. It says, in order to test him, in order to see what was really in his heart. So I think the question for us is not so much that we can't feel God because we know he's there, but let's sort out what the test is. Let's sort out what's really in our heart. Do we only serve God and do the right things? when we feel him so closely? Or can we still buck up and do the right things, trust God, live for him during that testing time, during that time when we don't feel him? You might be saying, Terry, but you don't know what I've gone through. You don't know what I'm going through. I am so mad that God would just leave me during this time. Well, I think I'm pretty safe in saying that you have probably not gone through as much as Job went through. You remember Job. Job basically lost everything except his wife. He lost his health, his riches, his family. And listen to what Job says in the first chapter of that book, the 10th verse. He's saying, can we accept only good things from the hand of God? and never anything bad? What an attitude Job had. He trusted God in the good and in the bad. And I'll leave you with Psalm 38, 19, where David says the godly will survive through hard times. If you're godly, if you trust God, if you believe in him, you will see through this hard time. So I'm praying for you today. I'm praying whatever you're going through, you can get that attitude of accepting the testing process and knowing that you will get through to the other side. I pray that minister to you today. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.